Hey, how's it going out there? AG Surfer, back another vid. Yeah, these are going to be the books, some of the books I picked up from the Wizard World San Jose Comic Con. And that was this past weekend. It was a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And I went all three days, and by the end of Sunday, I was probably feeling kind of wiped out. <laughs> but uh, but overall, not bad, not bad. Uh, again, the play, I got there a little late on Friday, and... I just went straight for the books. I found some books I liked. I found some dollar books that I liked. So I just stood there. And because I only had a couple hours before the con was going to close. So Friday was all about just doing some shopping. Maybe try to get some back issues or pick up some books. Because I wasn't going to get a lot of signatures or um, submit. I wasn't really planning on submitting a lot of books. And if I did, I kind of had a limit on my submissions. Because it just wasn't, you know, based on the artists that were there and the artists that didn't show up, that kind of plays a role. Kind of that's a key factor in, in me in me for uh, submitting books so let me get right into it it was uh so again i find this one dealer that i've seen before at other cons and i thought oh this guy's always had some nice books and good prices and sure enough he still offered and still had a lot of boxes a lot of long boxes of uh, dollar books so these are dollar comic books and sweet looking bags and boards and conditions are great on the, on the books conditions are nice really nice uh it's not a lot of it's more modern uh, comics you might f you won't really find any um, older issues like silver age golden age and that kind of kind of deal in his dollar books dollar boxes but you will find some modern some current stuff and maybe some some 80s possibly some 80s so just a way to fill some runs or get some books that you normally you know for, again for a dollar and he had where if you purchase 10 books you got two more free so 12 books for 10 bucks I ended up with five stacks on Friday. I had five stacks of books, so fifty dollars, fifty dollars right there, and what I figured that was um, sixty books, sixty comics. So sixty comics for fifty dollars. Get right into it, man. All I'm doing is talking. Uh, image first, you know, Spawn number one, and I believe it's like you know, it's the reprint or the re-representation re of the number one because with these image first on the barcode on the side. But again, just. I didn't care for a dollar and these conditions are nice and I do like spawn I, I do like McFarlane so that's that two of those this I was really I was blown away to find this because this is you know variant edition Spidey 624 Pasquale Ferry and you know I missed out on him on a con too I think there was a convention a couple years back he was supposed to be there and I think at the last minute he backed out because I have this is like my second copy and I love that. I think that cover's cool. I was going to get his autograph, but, you know, he didn't. He backed out. Um, Spider-Man, Marvel Spotlight, Back in Black. Hey, this look, it looked interesting for a dollar. Oh, yeah. Captain America, uh, issue 20. Anything right now with, you know, crossbones and that kind of business. Because uh, with the Civil War movie coming out, and that movie's looking really good with the trailer. And issue 17, Captain America. Again, crossbones. So, and these aren't in any particular order, I believe. I don't know. I try to keep them that way, but I think I got some books that aren't really in order. But we'll go as they see. Excuse me. Oh, the Avengers Infinity Gauntlet. You know, Thanos, Doom. Anything with, you know, again, for a buck. Again, conditions are nice. Uh, Captain America, issue 16. Like that cover with crossbones. This book is heavy duty, man. It's a thick... Looks like I got a little zinger right there. No biggie. But it's a thick book. Uh, Daredevil the Man Without Fear, issue 500. So just a really nice comic. Uh, Daredevil issue 504. Daredevil issue 505. Just went off here. And then Daredevil issue 511. Uh, this cover was cool. Let me see. Black and white. I did about issue number one. Some black and white issue. Yeah, here's another Thanos. That's an awesome cover. Avengers Assemble. Let me look at the Infinity Gauntlet. Again, with the movies, man. Another book. I think this is like my second copy. Avengers Assemble, number eight. Thanos just going to town. I mean, choking out the Hulk. You know, getting ready. Him and Thor going at it. I mean, that's just... It's brutal. And they had a lot of nice Thor books. So... Thor issue 606, 602, a variant, second printing variant, 
I'm picking those bad boys up. Uh, another Thor variant edition, number six, Art Adams. Awesome. Yeah, he had these variants in that box for a buck. So, I, oh yeah, I didn't hesitate on variants, especially for a dollar. And then these are in really nice condition. Uh, Thor, number, number five, Campbell. So sweet. I got two of them because Campbell's one of my faves. Um, another Thor, number two. Cool looking cover. And... I was surprised to find this. Thor number one. Oliver Copel. It's just very cool. Alright, let's get that stat going. And like I said, guys, this is going to be quite a few books. And this was just on Friday. And then Saturday. Saturday I ran around, did some autographs. Oh, crap. I got a house. Saturday I did some autographs and some, some submissions, actually. And then Sunday was a chill day with my buddy, and then I bumped into... Actually, comic book Steve snuck up on me on Sunday, which was very cool. It was great to see him, and I looked like I think he did he did fairly well there at the con. Another thing, man, the, con the convention's not cheap to get into. The Wizards, the Wizard World stuff, is not cheap to get into on a one-day pass. So, it's too bad. They need to drop that price, I think, on the one-day pass, you know? Especially on a Sunday. So, Thief of Thieves, 10. Thief of Thieves, number 9. When I seen these, I'm like, oh yeah, I'll start swiping these for a dollar. And number eight, I think I got the like, first ten issues. Number seven, um, number four, it's a second printing. Sorry, I just gotta get moving myself. Number four, it's a first. That should be a first printing. Yeah, or otherwise they specify. Number three, it's a fourth printing. And then number one, but. I believe this book, I think this book's, I don't know what it goes for, 30, 40 bucks, maybe 50. High grade. You know, like if you had a CGC 9.8, it could be like $100 or more. I'm not real sure. Um, but that's a fifth printing, number one. Fourth printing, number one. Another fourth printing, number one. And then it's like that, you know, like the spawn. Uh, number one here, like a re release something. So, yeah. I don't have the first print yet. Don't you know? Eventually, I may pick that up. We'll see how it goes. All right, guys. Yeah, this vid. I'm gonna make some long vids, and I gotta get to work. All right. Happy to find that one. You know, the thing with you know, Dark Side and Thanos. You know, you got your Dark Side on the DC side, Thanos on the Marvel side. So Dark Side right now, of course. You know, with that Superman Batman movie coming out, there's a chance. You know, they may or may not mention him, or he may come at the end of the movie. Who knows? But eventually, I'm sure he's coming into the movie somewhere. You know, he's a major foe. He's a big-time player. So him choking out those dudes, pretty cool. Two copies. And all these, you know, these are a dollar, man. I went dollar happy, especially when I'm not buying a bunch of Stanley autographs or, you know, all these major other players. I'm not buying all these other guys' autographs. It's all the money for all this. Uh, Web of Spider-Man, first issue, so... Kind of stoked to see that. Can't say I've seen that before. I didn't realize they did. Yeah, they came out with a second or third series of that one. Power Girl 16, like that cover. Avenging Spider-Man number three. Zeb Wells, I believe. No, Mad. Oh, it's Mad, yeah. But yeah, it is Zeb Wells. But the artwork's by the guy that goes by Mad. So it's very cool, different artwork. Uh, Avenging Spider-Man number one. Dude, when I found these number one issues, I, looked, I was on top of that. Yeah, buddy. A superior Spidey team up. Thanos, what can you say? A Batgirl. It looks like Adam Hughes. Don't know that it's Adam Hughes, but I still like that cover. Um, Hulk is Hulk. Second printing variant, number three. The Red Hulk. Good stuff. And number four, second printing variant. Number five, second printing variant. <laughs> Found them all, but I think I found most of them except for issue number one. And then I asked the guy about it, and he's like, yeah, that's the one issue he didn't bring, you know, to the convention. So I said, oh, man, I would have bought that bad boy. Oh, well, so that's issue number six. And this is a cool cover, variant edition number 11. You know, read this story, cracked it open. I have the other issue, um, the non-variant with the Green Hulk, and he's got Silver Surfer, Doctor Strange, and I think it's Submariner, because that would make sense. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be the def it's supposed to be the defenders against you know defenders against the Red Hulk team. This is pretty sick, man. I mean, Red Hulk sits there and like 
demos everybody, gets the surfer's abilities for a moment. He's got he's so cocky and so arrogant. He goes after he goes after Galactus and drops the dead surfer's body off at Galactus. And Galactus is like, you know, who's this little red man? I just spit on him. And it was pretty it was pretty brutal. I mean, this dude's talking smack to Galactus. Like, uh, you know, he'll take Galactus out. And Galactus is like, who do you think you're talking to, son? I created the silver surfer. As, as easy as I give him his abilities, I could take him away. Oh, and, and by the way, did you say you, you have surfer's abilities? And he goes, and Galactus is, again, this isn't word for word, obviously. But, it's, you know, Galactus is like, oh, you have his abilities? I could take him away. Bam, kicks the crap out of him. You know, and he's got surfer in his hands. And more or less, he, he revives every, you know, he revives surfer, more or less. Just a great story, cool stuff, man. I can't. I really got to get in there and read all those issues. This is pretty cool. You don't mess with Galactus. I bat Superman number forty three. Like that cover, Doctor Light's Titanic Terror. Uh, A vs X. You know, again, these are some. I guess these are variants. Yeah, variant of the variant edition. Uh, Ramos. Another one. You know, the opposite. She's black and white color. Uh, Gambit. Ramos. A vs X. Oliver Coppell, I believe. Good, good cover. Uh, here, this is issue number 12. Yeah. Hulk, no order. Good stuff. Another A vs. X. Again, that's Spidey on there. Uh, the Mighty Avengers number 8. The female Carnage. The Mighty Avengers number 2. The female Ultron. And another Avengers book. 50 years. It's a variant. Number 12. I like that cover. Hit it four ninety nine. Got it for a buck. And then these are some of those, you know, three D whatever covers. Again, a dollar one shot. Superman still kind of cool. Justice League Dark, and the last one, Constantine, because oh, he's putting on Doctor Fate's helmet. I like Doctor Fate. All right, guys, long vid. Those are a stack of books, and I got plenty more to go through. But I don't, unfortunately, I don't think I'm getting through them today. Oh, yeah, I'm going to be hurting here for a moment. Um, yeah, i got to get rolling. I uh, have other things to show off, but hopefully I'll get those up, get these vids going in the next couple days and get those uh, all the other things uploaded. All right, guys, take care. Thanks for tuning in and watching as always. Appreciate it. And uh, keep, keep cranking out those great vids, everybody. All right, later.